Hey there, friend and fellow nature journaler. You are tuning in to The Nature Journal Show, where we weekly provide you with tips, techniques, strategies, and a few product reviews mixed in, all to help you get more out of your nature journaling in the field. Today, I am really excited to talk about something that has been a little bit challenging for me. If you follow me on Instagram, you might know that for this month of October, I have been trying to switch to ink. For the past couple of years, I have been relying almost exclusively on a combination of graphite and watercolor, and that has been working fairly nicely for me. You can see on this page here that it is something that is, it's possible for me to push the values a little bit with the watercolor and get those lights and darks and to even get some legible text with the graphite. But I was starting to realize that I was coming up with some excuses of why I was sticking to the graphite exclusively and not experimenting more with ink, with pen, with darker media such as that. And I started to realize that I think it was more of a comfort thing and that I was just in that habit and maybe I was afraid of committing with ink, committing to those dark permanent lines that ink provides and that I probably could have been using ink to benefit some of the stuff that I was doing. I, I decided that October would be a perfect chance because of a lot of the Inktober challenges that people do on social media. So if you've been following me on Instagram, you probably know that I have been for this month exclusively doing ink. So let's do a little side by side here. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that I have been doing these pages where I look at photos from herpetologists and biologists of different sorts around the world and I base drawings off of their photos, especially for cool things such as neat animals and reptiles and uh, a lot of wasps and invertebrates that I don't get to see in my nature journaling excursions. So I've been practicing playing with uh, different media at home and nature journaling from these photographs which is something a little bit different from what I usually do. And what I've wanted to do is just experiment with ink this month. You have probably seen some of my results so far. And what I'm here today to do is ask you, what are the techniques or materials that you have become accustomed to? And have you come up with rationales for why you stick to those materials? And are those materials really serving you in what you want to get out of your nature journaling? Are they helping you learn? And for me, learning is really the bottom line. If sticking to graphite is not helping me learn, it's not helping me communicate better, then I need to try something different. And it's a little bit hard, you know, getting outside of your comfort zone, especially once you've dialed a system in with a certain material but I definitely recommend in your nature journaling practice to every once in a while, take a step back and look at what you're doing and think, am I just sticking to this pencil because it's easy and it's what I'm used to? Are there some underlying things like, are you afraid to commit? Are you afraid of the permanence of the ink or whatever? Uh, if maybe ink is the main thing that you do, why don't you try graphite for a little bit? So the tip for today, what I'm suggesting you try is get outside of your comfort zone a little bit, try mixing it up a little bit, use a tool that you're not used to and see how that works for you. If you always use a lot of color, try doing black and white. What, what are you able to convey with black and white? What will happen if you have to simplify your depictions to using values instead of relying on color? If you always do black and white, what will happen if you mix some color in and start using color for developing those values instead of using black and white? So go out there and try something different. 
I encourage you. I think it will help you learn a lot faster. If you end up switching back to your original media, that is fine and you will definitely have grown as a nature journaler and you'll get a lot more out of it if you every once in a while switch things up. So I hope that helps you. Let me know what you think I should talk about in my next video and check out this journal share where I share some pages from a journal where I use a lot of different media.